Box to box overlap and African boys Namibia have just lost Uruguay 36-26 in their final game at the Rugby World Cup. Yeah. Um Namibia dared to believe like at halftime we all thought that this is going to be a famous victory for Namibia. Tian Swanepoel was kicking well. Uh he made uh to one two two conversions and two penalties before halftime. Scored the most points in the game. Had uh, 16 points. But the Namibians just unraveled. Like, despite starting well, despite starting the game well, going 14-0 up after 10 minutes, they were getting into their game plan. They were going through the phases. They were moving the ball, using their forwards. Like, they were doing everything right. Up until, the thing about Uruguay, Uruguay did not panic. So, they just also just trusted their systems as well. And they just said, we're just going to beat this team through pressure. And, yeah, the pressure really came through, you know. There were a lot of uh, handling errors from the Uruguayans, which was giving opportunities to Namibia. And, I mean, I guess that's how Namibia really took advantage and got that 2012 uh, margin up um, at halftime. Namibia put up, uh, put up good pressure. Like, the line speed was really good. So there's a lot of good things Namibia did that put uh, Uruguay under pressure. The thing about Uruguay is they just didn't panic. And that's how they managed to score 20 points in the second half. And Namibia only scored six, yeah? Um, yeah, biggest takeaways. You cannot lose one of these three things in a game of rugby. You cannot lose your scrums. You cannot lose, um, like, literally lose your own scrums, uh, like, penalties. Like, literally get penalties through scrums. Let me say that. They were, get, they were getting their own scrums, but you cannot, each scrum cannot be a scrum penalty. Um, you cannot be almost double in penalties <laughs> against the other team. And you also cannot just get yellow cards, right? I guess it's all discipline. So let's say two things. You cannot lose your scrums and you cannot be ill-disciplined. Uruguay had considered nine penalties. Namibia considered 17. Namibia had two yellow cards and one red card. Uruguay had one yellow card, but the yellow card came late in the game when it was more or less, they were like 10 points up. So discipline was a real issue, real big issue for this team. I was, for the first half, they were overcoming it through good line speed, um, solid tackling. But then the second half, they were just missing tackles. 71% tackle success rate is... Um, I mean, if the other team is also doing 71, yes, that's fine. But the other team was not missing their tackles as much as you guys at 81% tackle success rate. So, missing tackles, discipline, losing scrums. Like, actually, those are the three things I was thinking about. Those three things. You cannot lose those three things and have a shot in a game. For them to only lose by 10 points and actually be within seven points with maybe six minutes to go, five minutes to go before, um, what's his name? Bay Chesey scored uh, the penalty to make it, to push it to 10 points. They tried. They actually did well <laughs> with 14 men for almost a big majority and 13 men at one point, right? For a, a good at least 20 minutes of the game. Um, the ball carrying was impressive in the first half. That's something that I feel like they can get a lot of confidence from. Um, they actually went through the game plan. You scored 26 points in a World Cup game at the end of the day. Like that's that's not that's no small feat. And yeah, just discipline, man. Like I know it has also been an injury ravaged squad. Um, I also mentioned how you cannot be you cannot have like a team like Namibia cannot play four games in a row. That's just that's just a lot. Like it's it's a lot to ask of a team. So especially two of those games being against the All Blacks and Italy, they have not had rest in this World Cup. They will not complain. They will say they'll keep playing. But if the All Blacks, France and Italy are all getting rest, why not Namibia, you know? So they're not getting a bye week because they play four games in a row. Um, Yeah, I mean, having five teams in the World Cup, that, that's, I guess that's bound to happen. But why not have that team that plays four games in a row be one of the teams that has depth, you know? Anyway... I spoke about all that in the previous video. If you want to have a look, you can just, uh, yeah, have a look on our YouTube channel. But all in all, tournament over for Namibia. Um, I feel like they have 
with what came their way, with all the challenges, the one thing I'll say about Namibia is that they never gave up. The entire tournament, even while well down, they still gave effort. I feel like they really, they really showed the spirit that you want to see in a team that's trying to carve its way or its path in world rugby, you know? So, yeah, tournament over for Namibia, I guess we have to just go to the next tournament and see how it goes. Hopefully Kenya goes in place of Namibia, but Namibia has shown that they can actually go, for them to go and compete with the likes of Uruguay, like that's that's progress, and that's what we would like to see. So, yeah, Uruguay beat Namibia at 6.26, and Namibia's World Cup is over, and yeah, Uruguay now move on to face the All Blacks in the next round. <laughs> 